Under Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev's perestroika policies, a Muslim democratic movement began to emerge in the Tajik SSR. The backbone of the opposition were the Party of Tajikistan Muslim Resurrection and the Democratic Party of Tajikistan. Now, the fight between the former communist government and opposition shifted from the political sphere to an ethnic and clan-based one. In 1992 after opposition members took to the streets in demonstrations against the results of the 1991 election, President Rachman Nabayev and Speaker of the Supreme Soviet Safar Ali Kenjeev began the dispersal of weapons to pro-government militias, while the opposition turned to the Mujahideen in Afghanistan for military aid. The Tajik opposition included democratic liberal reformists and Islamists. The government was dominated by people from the Leninabad region, which also made up most of the ruling elite during the Soviet period. It was also supported by people from the Kulob region, who held high posts in the Ministry of Internal Affairs in the Soviet era. The Leninabadis were forced to accept a compromise and a new coalition government was formed. On September 7, 1992, Nabayev was captured by opposition protesters and forced to resign at gunpoint. Fighting between the opposing factions reigned all over the country and with the aid of the Russian and Uzbek militaries, the Leninabad Ecolo by Popular Front forces routed the opposition in late 1992. The coalition government in Dushanbe was forced to resign. In December 1992, the Supreme Soviet convened and elected a new government under the leadership of Imam Ali Rachmanov. This was a shift in power from the old power based in Leninabad, to the militias from Kulob, where Rachmanov is from. The campaign was concentrated in areas south of the capital and included mass killings, the burning of villages and the expulsion of the Pamiri and Garmi population into Afghanistan. The violence was particularly concentrated in Kagon Tepe, the power base of the Islamic Renaissance and home to many Garmis. In Afghanistan, the opposition reorganized with aid from the Jamiat Islami. The group's leader, Ahmed Shah Massoud became a benefactor of the Tajik opposition. Later in the war the opposition reorganized as the United Tajik Opposition, or UTO. Elements of this group became the Islamic movement of Uzbekistan. In response to the violence, the United Nations mission of observers in Tajikistan was deployed. Most fighting in the early days of the civil war took place in the southern part of the country. But by 1996 the rebels were battling Russian troops in the capital city of Dushanbe. Islamic radicals from northern Afghanistan also began to fight Russian troops in the region, adding to the chaos. A United Nations sponsored armistice finally ended the war in June 1997. This was made possible by a track 2 diplomacy initiative where both were brought together by the United States and Russia. The peace agreement completely eliminated the Leninabad region from power. Presidential elections were held on November 6, 1999 with Imam Ali Rachmanov winning a landslide victory.